everybody. In this Grasshopper tutorial, we're going to talk about subdividing a surface and then testing those panels for planarity. So to start off, we'll just define our surface within Grasshopper. And what I did, what I did was simply just loft the top and bottom curves to create this freeform surface. So we can hide that. Now to divide our surface, we'll take a divide domain squared component which is under the math tab and by default we'll get 10 in the U and 10 segments in the V. Now what we want to do is trim out those surfaces those segments with a command called ISO trim and you'll find that under the surface tab. We'll reference our divisions. Now from here we want to use a command called BREP components which extracts faces, edges, and vertices from our subsurfaces. Now we can unpreview these. The reason we're extracting our faces, edges, and vertices is particularly for the vertices, which is the logic behind our you know planar testing is going to be based on three points. We're going to set a plane on those three points and the distance between the point and that and the fourth point and the plane is going to give us our curvature deviation. So let's define those points by typing in list item. And we have four points, so we need four list items. And we'll set that from 0 to, to 3. And that fourth point will be a, a 3, and we'll plug that into the vertices. Okay, now let's get out a, a three-point plane, which is under vector, plane, plane, three-point. And again, we want these three points to form that half quad. Okay, and the fourth point is going to be referenced with a, a command called plane CP, which is under the same tab. And this will give us the closest point to that plane, you know, referencing that fourth point that we haven't referenced. So we'll take out a surface parameter to define the faces. And we can unpreview that. Okay, so this plane CP gave us, you know, those distances from the point to the plane, and we have a hundred distances you know, because of our hundred panels. So now we'll use those distances to to for a gradient preview. Now zero is going to be completely flat and in turn the the center of our gradient. So let's go to the params gradient and we, we need a custom preview to preview the gradient based on our surface geometry, which now we can unpreview. Now this is going to go into the S and We'll set a preset from green to red. Now the deviation is from zero, so so the green and the red are essentially the same thing because our domain is from our smallest point to our largest distance. So we'll set that, which is you know near negative one, and the largest number in our domain is is near point six. Okay, now, because the red and the green are essentially the same thing, it's that deviation from zero. We'll make we'll make the red green, so it's a little a little more clear. And then we'll plug the our distances into the the T. Okay, so our the yellow on the surface is the flattest part of the plane. And the green is you know, the most curvature, or the furthest distance from zero, or that that fourth point is furthest away from that three-point plane. So to get a to actually get a text in in each panel telling us that distance, 
we can, we can use a command called text tag and the tag we want to read it is that distance and the location of the tag is the center point of each surface okay and if we go to wireframe preview well, let's let's unpreview this and then go to wireframe preview each surface has a, a distance number which is you know, that curvature deviation so if we look at the green area the shaded these numbers should be furthest away from zero and you'll see the 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and if you go to the yellow the numbers are much smaller 0 0.004, 0 0.03, 0 0.0037 0 So this can, you know, be pretty useful you know, in terms of you know fabrication and and actually realizing your project. In Rhino, there's an analysis you know, command, but it, it's not as controllable, and you know, it's not parametric. So if you you know have any changes that you need to make, you you have to you know do it manually. So I have a, a completely flat surface here. Or well, it was completely flat, so let's flat that with the command called set PT, and we'll set that in the x direction. Now we have our completely flat surface, and we'll set our script onto that surface, so you can really get a visual of what's going on. We'll turn the points on. and we'll put a little bit of curvature in that top corner. Okay, we'll hide it from here and wireframe preview. Okay, see everything here is at zero and is entirely flat and here at that corner you get you know, 0 0.64 which is in that green section and a little bit around it is a little more yellow and a little closer to zero. So we can plug plug this back into our original surface and hide everything else alright so you can see the potential here now the, the next step obviously would be to to actually modify the surface you know either with control points or whatever tools that you have and you know try and try and get everything as close to zero as possible so Thanks for watching, and check out my blog at immersestudio.com and subscribe to the channel.